Welcome to Behold, He Comes, a God-given message to the whole world at this time when everything around us is pointing towards the end. Everybody may not see it that way, but those who know how to read the times, those who love God and uh, who, who knows about the Word of God, those who know about the Word of God, they know that all that the Lord has prophesied. He did not tell us what time is going to be here, but He told us signs to look for. And all these signs He told us to look for, they are already here. They already happen. So we know that the time is just around the corner. May you be wise to get ready for the end of days. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we magnify your name because you are great and mighty. You change it not. Thank you for the love. You love the whole world. Thank you for this love that you do not want anyone to perish. Father, you alone created the whole world and you alone care for the whole world. And yet, you still want us to finish well and finish strong, to end it in your kingdom. How great your love is. Be exalted, O Lord, forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, please, Lord, I pray that even as you speak to us again this week, Father, I pray that you give us listening ears, give us understanding heart, give us the willing heart, willing mind to do what you want us to do. So that, Father, your expectation over us will not be cut off that we will be able to see you and you will be able to see us at the end of days reigning with you even in your kingdom ah baba thank you glory be to your name in jesus name i have prayed amen amen the lord is good all the time the lord is good the lord is good he's good to me and I know it's good to you. Why? We can still talk again today. We can still meet again this week. I am alive. You are alive. We can hear ourselves. <laughs> what a wonderful God. It's not by accident. It is the working of the Lord. <laughs> my brother, my sister, it is because God still needs me and needs you. That's why we are still here. And he needs us to be able to glorify him in our lives, to glorify him in our families, to glorify him in our neighborhoods, in our place of work, to glorify him in this world. That's why he created us. And he's expecting a lot from us. May we not disappoint God. May you not disappoint God. You have been turning your back for so long. May, may you get the the, the, the notion, the urgency, the grace to turn back, to come back to God. God help you. God help me. In Jesus' name. Brethren, we are in a series that is called Before He Comes. The overall series is Behold He Comes. As we have in Matthew chapter 24 verse 30 Matthew 24 30 he said behold he comes Jesus Christ himself said it he prophesied it to him said that he is coming and the whole eyes the whole world will see him when they see him they will mourn they will lament he is coming in glory and great power great glory and great power and I tell you he said it himself, he cannot lie, he cannot lie, he cannot lie. John, the beloved, at the, at, at the time he got the revelation, 
In Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, he repeated it and said, Behold, he comes with the clouds. He comes with the clouds. All the eyes will see him. And it is very imminent, very nearby right now. So today, we want to talk about what happens on earth. If you have been able to watch movies like The Left Behind, if you have been able to watch movies like The Rapture, different movies, God has inspired many people to put up so that we can really be warned. The warning is coming left and right, left and right. It's coming from messages, it's coming from music, it's coming from movies, it's coming from me. I mean, people walking around and giving trust, different from media. It's come from left and right. We, we don't have excuse. I don't have excuse. You don't have excuse if you miss it. If you miss it, you don't have excuse. In fact, by the time you miss it, you will remember everything you ever watch on the movie, you ever hear on the social media, you ever hear in the music concerning this event. Concern, you will know, you will remember. And then uh, I pray that that word, I died known, will not happen to you. I died known, I, I will have accepted Christ. I died known, I will have believed in this, in this, in this world. I died known, I will have lived my life for Jesus. That will not be your, your portion. It will not be your portion. It will not be your portion. You will not stand to regret because now it's like, keep quiet. What are they talking about? I mean, we have been hearing this for a long time. Um, ah, please, please. He may be right now. He may be right now. Please come back to Jesus and live for him. The, the, what will happen as soon as there is rapture, you can imagine. You can imagine. You can imagine. We have seen it in movies. But the driver is driving. And the rapture takes place. And the driver has like five passengers in the car. In the, pa- in the car, the driver is a child of God. He has given his life to Jesus. In the car, one at the back is a child of God, has given his life to Jesus. And the trumpet sound. And rapture takes place. And there's catching up. And the driver is caught up. And the one at the back is caught up. On full speed. On express uh, uh, expressway. Tell me what, what, what do you think will happen? Just for that incident, you see that that car and the three that I mean the, the three that are remaining there, if there are five passengers, they are in trouble. In fact, they are in serious job and it will happen like that in the air with plane there'll be crashes that on the sea there'll be shipwreck on the, i mean it will happen like that. if they are pilots they are sailors they are drivers if their drivers are children of god many things will and it will happen at the same time all over the world Imagine the time we have right now is about 2.11 in the afternoon. Right now, in Africa, the time is different. In Australia, the time right now is different. In, there are some people that are just waking up right now. There are some people that are going to bed right now. Some people are at work right now. The same time the same time. So it will be morning for some people, it will be afternoon for some people, it will be night for some people, it will be midnight for some people. And when it comes to pass, <laughs> my brother and my sister, every it will be it will be disaster everywhere on the earth. On the earth, it will be disaster everywhere. There will be news and communications. The whole media will jump together. And the same news, the same for the first time, 
everywhere in the world will be carrying the same news the same experience the same observation that oh we have missing people oh we have missing people people will be missing them i mean we'll be missing people here and there <laughs> it's going to happen and it may be now it will be right now that is that is the danger in there that we don't know what the time is going to be that, that's why you just you just need to be on guard be on guard be on guard it could be right now it could be right now it could be right now if it is right now if it is right now what is your fate f-a-t-e what is your fate where do you stand have you known the lord and you are backsliding you have gone back to the one the Bible talked about Demas that Demas that was with Paul, helping Paul in the missionary work. He, 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 Paul said he loved this present world and he has gone back. Have you gone back? <laughs> it's better you come back today. Please come back. God is ever waiting, ready. He doesn't want anybody to perish. That's why the rapture has not taken place. We, we said that in, in, in one of our series that in this mess in this in this one of our messages in this series that he he is he is long suffering for me and for you. He doesn't want anybody to perish. Be you not perish in Jesus. You will not perish. We you will not go to hell. You will not go to hell. You will not remain behind. Because to remain behind is the beginning of journey to hell. I tell you, I tell you, because children of God are being taken up. Who are who are remaining? Children of the devil. The devil knows where he is going to finish his life. The devil knows that the the hell fire have been created for him. That's what the Bible says. Let's look at. Matthew chapter 25. If you look at verse 31, verse 31 says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate one from another, as a sheep divided his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on the right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. See? So, that is what will happen to those who have who, 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 who are on the Lord's side. That's what will happen to them, you see. But those who are not on the Lord's side, it will be punishment. In verse 46, the Bible says, And this shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. I'm just telling you that it's going to be a, kind, a day of separation. The, the the believers they are being cut off. What else? Unbelievers. He may be a pastor in the church, left behind. He has never been a pastor. He's been an unbeliever. Maybe a choir leader, eh? Left behind. That did not make the rapture. He has never been a, a real child of God. He has been a child of the devil. In fact, the rapture will tell the truth. He will, he will say the truth to the whole world. He will make the world to know who actually has been serving God and who has not been serving God. Who actually has been deceiving the world that is a child of God. Big, 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 big ministers of God who have been very careless in their lives. The rapture will reveal those who have been careless. And then the whole world, like I said, will be in disaster. 
the whole world will be in serious, serious trouble. You see, look at what the Bible says. Matthew 24, verse 15. Say, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, who so read it, let him understand. And when you look at verse 21, verse 21, the Bible says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. That is what is going to happen as soon as there's rapture. We call it great tribulation. Tribulation. Great tribulation. That's what the Bible calls it. See, there have been tribulation at this time. See, we have been suffering. There have been hardship. There have been kind of confrontation and some kind of, I mean, suffering for Christ. But let me tell you, that's why that time is referred to as great tribulation. It's a tribulation that cannot be compared with any other one. It's a tribulation that cannot be compared with any, any other tribulation. It's a suffering time that cannot be compared with any kind of suffering. Are you suffering right now? Is it because of the suffering that to say you, you are not going to serve God? That to say there's no God? Ah, this is no suffering. I tell you, it's not suffering at all. At all. See, tribulation means a great trouble. A cause of great trouble or suffering. You may have trouble now. You may have suff sufferings now. You may have hardships now. You may have problems now, I tell you, please endure them. At this time, God is even able to take, to, to deliver you from these tribulations. He's able to deliver you from your troubles. He's able to deliver you from your sufferings. That is part of what Jesus Christ achieved for us on the cross of Calvary. When he shed his blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of new covenant is powerful to deliver from troubles. Now, so run to Jesus. The Bible says the name of Jesus is a wrong, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is saved. Run to Jesus. Jesus Christ himself said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, all ye that are suffering. In Matthew chapter 11, 28, 29, he said, Come unto me. I will give you rest. I will give you rest is with Jesus. You can get to rest now and make rapture. Once the rapture takes place, who are you going to call? No more. No more grace. No more mercy. No more help. No more Holy Spirit. Ha! May you not be left behind. I pray again in the name of Jesus, I and you will not be left behind. Great tribulation. See what the Bible says from where we read. It says, such as as not, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this end. No, nor ever, nor ever shall be. It, shall, it, it will be the first of its kind and the last of its kind. Great tribulation will be the first of its kind and the last of its kind. God will help us in Jesus' name. I'm going to stop here. But I tell you, we have just entered into this very serious area that you need to understand exactly what great tribulation is. And as, we, as God opens our eyes, exposes us to 
the deep understanding of great tribulation and pray that we will make up our mind vehemently, seriously, that I will not be part of the great tribulation. It shall be, it shall be a time of real trouble. You see, before I round up, look at what the Bible says in Jeremiah 30. Let's look at verse 5 to 7. Jeremiah 30, 5 to 7. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. <laughs> Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. That is new. That is that is King James version. King James version. Let's look at what uh, New Living Translation say. New Living Translation in uh, Jeremiah 30 from verse 5. This is what the Lord says. I hear cries of fear. There is terror and no peace. Now, let me ask you a question. Do men give birth to babies? Hmm. Then why do they stand there arch arching faced and press against their sides like a woman in labor. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel. Yet, in the end, they will be saved. A time of terror, a time of trouble, is coming. And when the Bible says they will be saved, it's talking about the Israelites. You may be a Jew, listen to me, but majority of you listening to me, you are Gentile, you are the, you are the age, you are the dispensation of Gentiles. And this is the dispensation, dispensation of grace. Grace given to Gentiles, given to us who, 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 who never had the promise of salvation, but now receive the promise through Jesus Christ. And that is why he gave us a long group, long chance, opportunity to wake up, to get ourselves together and to surrender our life to Jesus before it is too late. Right now that you are hearing me, it's not still late, but don't postpone it. Don't wave it aside. Take your decision for Jesus now so that you can be raptured, you can be caught up, you can be saved from this terrible thing that is happening now. God bless you. We are going to be talking about the nature of tribulation, the source of tribulation, of great tribulation, nature of great tribulation, source of great tribulation, purpose of great tribulation, and the time of great tribulation as we go in the following week. God bless you. Please, uh, if you are going to make up your mind, make up your mind now. Because as I said, we're going to do this next week and other weeks ahead. If the time comes for rapture, we may not be able to do that. If, it, if rapture comes today, may Jesus take us to, with him. Sudden death will not be your portion, but it happens. If sudden death comes, may you be ready. Believers don't die. They only sleep. It's a transition to the kingdom of God. But I pray for you that God will spare your life. If Jesus started to come, you will live long and you will be a vessel that God will use to pro 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 pronounce, pro proclaim, publish the gospel all over the world in the name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Have a very wonderful week ahead.
Thank you.